Hi there crafty pals, it's Louise with you today. Welcome along to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. I am sharing a February 2024 layout which was inspired by the White With One February mood board. So it's that fabulous rainbow page and I'm combining it with my three old three new YouTube series. So I've pulled out some new products. I've got this super cute uh, paper pad with lots of yellows and that sort of black and text roses kind of feel. I've got the Nouveau pen, which is the mango color. I've got some Vicky Booten embellishments, sticker sheets, and some yellow pattern papers that I've pulled from my stash. So I took it upon myself to, um, as the challenge suggested, choose a color. And I honestly, I love the color yellow. It is just the happiest color. And I chose this photo because it kind of had the same type of tint to what I was going for here and because I felt that these um, rose patterned papers were quite overwhelming I didn't want to um, make a normal sort of background I also was conscious that I had to get that mixed media portion of the um, Nouveau pen in there as well to meet my three old three new criteria so in order to um, create an interesting background, what I'm going to do is cut some one inch by one inch cubes of patterned paper and I'm going to lay those around on a background, leaving myself some space to also hand draw some cubes. Now, at this point, I don't actually know where my photo is going to go. I'm just focusing on creating a background. So you can see that I'm sort of um, matching some of these up. I don't want them to be perfect straight away. I just want to get a bit of an idea if I need to cut some more. You know, do I want to cover the whole background? Do I want to just leave this quite plain? Um, I, I believe that my photo will go somewhere centrally, but again, because I haven't completely decided, it's kind of a guessing game at the moment. I actually decide I have enough um, of these little cubes and I like the, the mixture of colors and textures. So I go ahead and line them all up, spread them out evenly, and then I'm going to turn my camera off and I'm going to glue everything down and just tidy up that background a little bit. I really feel like it's completely unnecessary for you guys to sit and watch me do a little bit of sticking and gluing so that can all happen off camera. Once I come back, this is where I'm going to bring in my Nouveau pen and just hand draw some squares. Now, if you prefer, you could potentially like draw some nice neat squares using one of the um, cut pattern papers as a template. I prefer to have mine a little bit more grungy. So when I'm working with these um, neatly cut squares in the background, they're quite structured. I want my um, mixed media element to not be so structured. So you can see that I've let my coloring overlap a little bit outside of the lines. I am not being particularly strict about making them um, a whole square uh, that's I do that on purpose so that's how I want my layout to look and it allows me the chance to um, play with that sort of uh, product in the, in the Nouveau pen but it also um, gives it that kind of grungy look in the background as well. I've used the pen also to make some splatters and having a look at the background it's quite busy so it's at this point where I actually need to try and tone it down a little bit it's quite yellow I have got this um, photo which has got that um, warmth of the tone of color um, so I really need to come back to uh, making the photo the focus and it's all very square you know I've got a square photo I think this would work amazing if you changed to a round photo so if you squared up your background and then went to a round photo that would really contrast so nicely but for me because I didn't have an uh, round photo I decided to go with the contrast of uh, black cardstock behind my photo so the great part about the white with one challenges is that you can incorporate your chosen color so obviously white which is the background with one so one color in this case I've chosen the yellow because we had the rainbow that we could choose from 
but you're also allowed to use some neutral colors. So you don't necessarily have to stick to a palette. As long as when um, the, the team at White With One are viewing your layout, they can officially see the thought behind your color choice and it's obvious what color you chose, then you know, you've met the criteria. So it is okay to use a little bit of black and I think that in this case, it makes for a really nice contrast. Um, it definitely lifts that photo from that background. I've also then mounted it onto a little bit of cardboard and that again, just separates it from that background. Now, I have got this bag of the Vicky Booten embellishments. Um, so I can't remember the name of this collection, but it's the travel one. Um, so that particular collection um, is sitting on my desk. I've now moved it to um, what I would call my stash. So I've made various layouts out of it and I've got a few bits and pieces left over. So for me, that becomes stash then um, and I can use that however I see fit. Now, I also love to cut my embellishment pieces in half and actually um, split them either side of the photo. So you can see with my photo here, I'm working on a upper right-hand cluster and then a bottom left hand cluster. So this is just going to make that sort of more visually appealing um, in my uh, end result of my layout. I'm a bit stuck on the cluster. I'm not sure if I'm finished it or not. Do I want more stickers? I love the title. I love the little made me smile. Um, I think it works really well because this definitely made me smile. Uh, my son, Master Zaleb, who decided he was going to play in this um, rather large box. I had a mannequin, a dressmaker's mannequin shipped to me and this was the box that it came in and he just thought it was the greatest fun ever. So definitely uh, made me smile this particular photo. As part of the three old, three new um, stash busting series on YouTube, um, the requirement is to use three old products with three new products. So what I do is I pull some items from my stash. Um, so the little yellow flower was stash. Um, what else came from stash? Some of the yellow pattern papers that I started with initially came from stash and then um, combine them with three new products. So it's a way that you can still buy new goodies, but team them with some stash products as well. All right, once I'm finished building around this cluster, I am going to call this layout done. Thank you so much for visiting and checking out this video. I hope that you enjoyed. And if you're not already a subscriber, I would love it if you hit that little subscribe button.